Hey everyone, this is Elaine and in this video I'm going to talk about pair production. There is a video before this one, it's called Interactions of Photons with Matter. Uh, there I give an introduction about the subject and I compare the energy dependence of the three most common photons interaction, which I will not do it here. Here I'm going to focus on pair production only. Pair production, we, have, we need for that to happen, we need a high energy photon interacting with the electric field of the nucleus. So in photoelectric effect, it comes to scattering, the uh, incident photon interacts with the electrons. Here in pair production, the photon interacts with the electric field of the nucleus. The photon energy must be greater than 1.02 mega electron volts. Anything below that is not going to happen. Uh, the medium has to have a high atomic number. In the process, we have the photon is completely absorbed and there is a production of an electron-positron pair. So let's go step by step. Uh, we have here an incident photon coming. Interact with, uh, interacting with the electric field of the nucleus. In the process, the photon is completely absorbed and there is a creation, a emission of a pair, a production of a pair, an electron-positron pair. The elementary particle and its antiparticle. Uh, here we see energy directly converted to matter. Uh, there are secondary emissions in pair production. Let's take a close look at the positron here. So the positron will tra travel 2 to 3 millimeters in matter, interact with an electron, and there there is the conversion of matter into energy. The, the particles disappear and we have two photons, 511 kilo electron volts each, uh, 180 degrees apart. This phenomenon is called annihilation. So annihilation, it is the conversion of matter into energy. Like I said, photon is completely absorbed. Uh, there is a production of an electron-positron pair in secondary emissions. Two photons, 511 uh, volts each, 100 degrees apart. Pair production depends on the atomic number of the material and the, the relationship Z square uh, depends on the energy of the incident photon uh, where the relationship is ln of E. Uh, if by the, those relationships we can see that if Z increases the probability of pair production increases. If energy increases the probability of pair production increases. Uh, there is a higher probability for pair production to happen if energy is greater than 25 mega electron volts. Uh, those are the sources I have used and uh, the links for additional videos will be in this video description. So this is it guys. Uh, thanks for watching.